I'm Fernando, and I've been recreating NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building in Minecraft in one-to-one -one scale with true external and internal accuracy. Now this is a restricted government facility, and there are some tours where people come inside and they'll walk through the entrance here, this is the low bay, the first half of the building. We have lots of footage of sometimes there'll be a door open and we can see a sneaky view into the side of here, which is pretty exciting. Sometimes we just have to look through windows and get a glimpse of some office lights and just make some assumptions about what's in there to be verified later. But most people will come down here, they'll walk into the high bay and then they'll look up pretty awestruck because that's 160 meters tall or 160 blocks here in Minecraft. So last video, we worked in High Bay 1 and we built up the Saturn V rocket from the Apollo era. This video, let's do some research into these areas on the side of the low bay. I found a Reddit post where someone was also trying to work out what's in these side areas. And one of the replies talked about the left building being the RMS shop, which is the big arm-like thing in the orbiter payload bay. So now I need to work out what an RMS lab is. I found the Spaceport News article from 2005, and here they talk about the orbiter boom system in the remote manipulator lab inside the vehicle assembly building. So this may or may not be the RMS lab, but it is a lab inside the vehicle assembly building, so let's see what else we can find. I found this article, which talks about the remote manipulator lab again being inside the vehicle assembly building. You can see that same orbiter arm system, and then we get a few more details, like a flag over here, and there's roller doors on the side. So I'm pretty sure this thing is inside the VAB, I just need to work out where it is. I even found the remote manipulator lab on NASA Tech, and this gives me lots of different angles, and I can see that flag in there, so I know this is the same place, but I still don't know where this is in the VAB, and if the remote manipulator lab is the RMS lab. I stumbled across an amazing resource, which is the Library of Congress. So this has 193 documents, which are photos and schematics from the early 60s and then from a survey done in the early 2000s. One photo I was able to find was for the Remote Manipulator System Lab, which would be the RMS lab, which more excitedly is in room 1N4. So now I'm fairly confident this is the RMS lab and it's on floor one area in room number four, which is closer, but I still don't know exactly where this thing is. Another document on the Library of Congress was the master plan of floor one from 1963. There's a lot of really interesting information in here, including the numbers of the stairs, the numbers of the elevators, some of the internal layout inside the base of these towers. We'll come back to that later. But if we turn our attention to area N, we can see the individual pillars but we don't know which is room 4, so we don't know where that RMS lab is yet. So I'd found a lot of really cool images and schematics, and what I really wanted to be able to do was load them into Minecraft, stretch them out, rotate them, position them, and use them as a reference when building. Now I couldn't find a mod that existed for this, so I learned how to make a mod and I made one myself. I've even put this mod up on Modrinth, so you can go and download and play with it. Let me show you an example of using this mod. So the mod works if you're holding an item frame in your hand or your offhand, and here I've stretched out the schematic we were just looking at over the VAB and I can use that to line up where each of these windows are. You can also see I've stretched out the entire floor plan along the bottom. And then as we move around there are various other angles which I've put in as well. This is pretty cool, particularly in the internal I can cross reference things here. So we can see here that there's reference to a mechanical and electrical tunnel below the transfer aisle with these dashed lines here. And if we come down here we can see the other orientation slice of it which is where we see the electrical and the mechanical tunnel right there. So that'll let us build this up in pretty good accuracy moving forward. So the way to get images into the mod. If you press O, you can launch the config screen and it'll show you the path you need to put the images in. So it'll be in your Minecraft directory and then the config blueprints folder, then the name of the world that you're in and the name of the dimension that you're in. Each of these images will have a configure button and from here you can tweak where they are. So if you hold down shift, you can nudge things by a greater amount. If you hold down control, you can nudge things by a tiny amount. If you hold down control and shift, you can nudge things by a huge amount. Same thing works for rotating in the rotation. So here you've got 90 degrees if you hold down shift or a single one degree if you hold if you don't, and then if you hold down control, you're at a tenth of a degree. 
as well as tweaking the scale of this. So again, you can drag it, stretch it, do whatever you need to do, try and get it lined up. You can even tweak how transparent it is or just turn it on and off. So I think that's a really useful resource and I'm hoping that it's useful to other people. So I'm really happy that I could contribute to the community. Put that up on Modrinth. If you've got any ideas or feedback, just put them in the comments and I'll definitely be using this a lot moving forward. So based on these schematics, I've now got a really good idea of the internal framing structure of these side rooms. So let's build that up as the first step. So for areas L and K, we have Don McKay's Moonport illustration, which has a nice cross section of all of the internal rooms here. So let's use that framing as the basis and work out those rooms. I'm still on the lookout for any photography from inside of this area. One of the things I was able to find was from a YouTuber PC dev who had a tour through the transfer aisle and as he spun round one of these side doors was open. So let's have a quick look at that. All right, they are kicking us out. We are only in here about 15 minutes, but that was one of the best 15 minutes of my life. So that was a great 15 minutes of his life and actually pretty great for us as well because we were able to see inside here. So based on going through and freeze framing that video, I've been able to come in here and put in some storage and just kind of match up the colors and roughly what I can see. So a little bit more detail in here. I'd still love to have some better photography and I'm always on the lookout for it. So inside area N, we know there is the RMS lab and we know it's room four and we know it's on the ground level, but we don't know which room is which. Back on the Library of Congress, I was able to find a 115 page write up of that survey. This talks about area N containing two main areas on the ground level. The first is the flight crew system. This is a large room that encompasses roughly two thirds of the ground floor on area N with a row of steel columns along the center line that divides the room in the two areas. So on the map, this is area N and we can see this section is two thirds of it with a row of steel beams going through the center. And here we see that the other area in the low bay is the RMS lab, which is to the west of this other area. So in this schematic, north is to the left, so west is to the down. So that means that this here is the RMS lab. So we've got pictures of the lab, we've got the schematic, we've got the dimensions. Let's build it. So this is my interpretation of the RMS lab, which is on floor one, area N, room number four. You can see I've also used my blueprint mod to put those reference images in place and see even lined up exactly where some of these photos are. I've got the American flag, I've got a placeholder for a Canadian flag. There is a way to do these nice with banners, but they don't work in survival. So I might just come back and think about that at some point, but for now that's pretty good. These are the storage areas. And all in all, I'm pretty happy with how this has worked out. So any feedback, ideas or encouragement that you have, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell everyone you know about this exciting adventure of research and design that we're on together. Have a great day.